three, two, one. Here we are. Cheers. We are moving this time. When we get an animal in, we have a lot of skill and a little time to it, and so we end up with less ground beef, we get more valuable cuts. Those cuts are different than what's in the grocery store. Um, and then as far as it goes, we can speak for the quality of it. We can tell you um, where it was raised, what it ate. And we have built relationships with these farmers, and so we're not selling anything we're not super proud of. After O'Brien's closed, there were no real true butcher shops in the area, and I think a lot of folks in this neighborhood as well missed uh, Tonell's Meat Market that used to be on this block. So uh, we're happy to step in and, and fill that gap. Uh, hopefully we're going to provide people the kinds of things that they used to get from those establishments plus some new things that hopefully uh, they'll be excited about. Sausages are something that I love and it's really hard to get a good sausage. Um, and we're going to carry up to 50 recipe flavors in the case. Um, and so you will have all the staples and then we'll sprinkle in some fun ones and you just don't get sausage um, as good as we can make it with the, the pork that we use. It's, it's what makes a difference. My favorite kind of changes from day to day. Uh, it's hard to beat our house bacon and I've been enjoying BLTs lately since tomatoes are still in season for a little while. So if you haven't uh, had our house bacon, come on in and try it. With, I like thick slices on sourdough bread with a little arugula and Duke's mayonnaise. You can't really beat the classics, you know? I think that uh, we're gonna succeed because we're gonna get to know our neighbors and their preferences, and uh, we're gonna continue to do what we do, offering really amazing, interesting deli meats by the pound, um, as well as eventually adding some barbecue catering into the mix. Beef, we get in whole animals, uh, as well as some subprimals and primals, and then uh, pork, we get in whole animals only, and then break them all down and turn them into the sausage and the deli meats and the grilling cuts and the braising cuts as well. What else can we get for you today? I think that's it. We've got better meats than a big, big box store would have. Uh, we can tell you the exact farm, the producers that raise the animals, and we can give you some great tips on how to cook it. You can buy our spice wallow rubs. Uh, if you're a charcoal enthusiast, we've got some really nice craft charcoal that we're excited to offer people. Uh, rendered fats, if you're into baking, we've got leaf lard that you can make the best pie crust with. We make uh, really nice chicken stock, beef stock, all of this from local pastured animals. Um, I've got a tenkatsu broth that'll blow your mind if you're into ramen. We've got pet food supplement. I've got pet treats that we make in-house. So even dogs are happy at Yard Bull Meats. I'm just excited to meet a lot of people that we've talked to over the phone for the past years, taking special orders, um, get them in there. Um, education's big for us, so we'll have the opportunity to talk through different cuts, um, as well as talk about how to cook things and um, just interacting and, and bringing some, uh, some joy to folks through meat.